usual sukhamaya means comfortable and easy pranayama means regulating the breath or controlling the breath here there is nothing to control just let the flow of the breath as usual normal and natural you just pay your attention on the breath that means inhale normal and exhale normal let your whole attention become one with the breath let your mind follow your breath in and out in the nostrils no more thoughts forget your surroundings forget the world around you be calm be still and become aware of your natural breath just you become a witness just you watch how your breath is moving in and out through your nostrils in the nose that is the second thing pranayam being with the natural breath is the second thing then when we are continuously with our breath then slowly you will forget everything your body and mind will be relaxed completely and all the thoughts the routine wanderings of your mind slowly settle down in case if your mind wanders again become aware and bring your attention to the breath again start observing the breath here the only exercise is whenever your mind goes here and there become aware and bring it back to the breath again observe the breath this is the only thing we have to do in meditation then slowly your mind stands on your breath slowly the oxygen requirement the energy requirement will be reduced because we sat calm and still so the breath will become slower slower and slower simultaneously the mind the routine wanderings of your mind will be settled down when the whole mind becomes empty when the mind becomes calm and still it's called as thought free state it's called as the meditative state in this state we will receive the cosmic energy when the mind is empty we can access the outside bio cosmic energy conservation of this cosmic energy is called as pratyahara that is the third thing in the science of yoga when we observe the breath slowly the mind becomes empty when the mind becomes empty we will receive abundant cosmic energy
let the body be still mind be calm and calmly observe your breath follow your breath until the mind becomes empty until the mind becomes still please do not open your eyes if you open your eyes your meditation will be lost you have to start again from the beginning so please do not open your eyes relax your body and mind and observe the breath easy soft natural normal and tender going breath turn your whole attention inside by means of our breath breath is the key in meditation breath is the gateway to enter into meditation no more family no more business no more thoughts and no more sounds calmly observe the breath make the mind empty access the cosmic energy cosmic energy is the source of being kind it is the source for life it is everywhere in this universe but to access it our mind must be empty our mind must be still all our health problems due to lack of sufficient energy we can access abundant energy during meditation so the energy flows into all the nadis all the energy tubes then all the blocks will be cleared slowly there are 72000 nadis energy tubes in the energy body this is called as the energy system if there is full of energy in the energy system then our physical body will be more healthy and more active if there is no sufficient energy if there is no sufficient flow to any particular part then 
will face a sickness in the particular part. During meditation, we will receive abundant energy. So the energy flows into all the tubes, into all the 72,000 tubes. Then slowly all the blocks will be cleared. Whenever the block clears, the physical health problem in the body will be vanished. We can heal all our physical health problems with meditation, with the flow of energy in meditation. Pratyahara means, Prati means opposite, Ahara means food or feed. This energy is a substitution, an opposite side to our routine physical food. We have to eat food every day and we have to receive cosmic energy every day. Physical food is to keep our physical body stronger and cosmic energy is to keep our energy body stronger and to keep our physical body healthy and to keep our mind in a joyful state. Please do not open your eyes, my dear friends. Go deeper and deeper. Let your whole attention go deeper within. Meditation is a journey within, a journey into inner space. Forget the outer space, forget the outer world and go deeper and deeper into meditation, into inside. Do not open your eyes, please. Now we are all going into deep meditation. And we are all receiving abundant cosmic energy. And our whole energy system is now filling with the cosmic energy. Whenever the energy system is full of energy, it taps the untapped psychic energy, Kundalini energy or Chakra energy at the lower part of the spine.
when the psychic energy arises from the lower spine to the skull to the upper spine so all our chakras all our energy centers will be activated in this stage slowly we will acquire extra sensory perceptions when the energy reaches from the first chakra to the sixth chakra our third eye will be activated and our whole attention will be constantly focused at the brow center between the eyebrows this state is called as dharana dharana means concentration and dharana means wearing means acquiring extra sensory perception the word dharana means wearing like we are wearing clothes so dharana means wearing in a deep state of meditation when the mind is completely concentrated focused itself between the eyebrows then the third eye will be activated we can understand deep we can understand our life deeply this state is called as dharana the first thing is asana comfortable posture the second thing is pranayama means observing the natural breath the third thing is pratyahara means conserving receiving cosmic energy the fourth thing is dharana due to the flow of energy all our inner organs will be activated like we have outer organs mouth nose ears and eyes similarly we have inner organs are also called as spiritual organs these spiritual organs are inactive because we are not practicing meditation because we are not conserving energy when we practice meditation we will conserve energy when we will conserve energy the inner organs will be feeded by this energy and they will be activated and they will start working this state is called as dharana there is no more wavering in the state of dharana no more wavering no more sounds it's a deep state of silence it's a deep state of meditation and it's a deep turn into the inner space It's a deep turn to within. Go deeper and deeper. Please do not open your eyes. Come what may.
in this stage when the spiritual organs are activated they will start work like we are absorbing like we are watching with our eyes and hearing with our ears in the same way when our spiritual organs are activated we can experience so many things in our inner world with our spiritual organs means you can see with the third eye third eye is the main spiritual organ to understand our life deeply to understand our spiritual life deeply go deeper and deeper it is the time to realize ourselves it is the time to attain our inner consciousness what a great thing meditation is meditation is the most urgent need in human life meditation gives you perfect health meditation makes your mind peaceful and keeps your mind always in joyful state if we go more deeper and deeper into the state of dharana then slowly we will reach the next stage named as dhyana dhyana means dhi plus yana dhi means spiritual intellect yana means journey this state so dhyana means a life journey with spiritual intellect this is not physical intellect it is spiritual intellect and we have one more meaning to dhyana dhi means the combination of the subtle bodies higher bodies yana means journey when we are in deep state of meditation when we cross the state of dharana then all the higher bodies like astral causal and supra causal bodies will get sufficient energy so they can travel all over the universe 
they can travel into the time they can travel into the space so dhyana means meditation means a journey with our subtle bodies with our higher bodies they are subtle but they are higher than our physical body that's why when during the travel we can see many strange things we can witness so many galaxies so many dimensions so many alternate realities now we are all deeply going into the state of meditation into the state of dhyana last 5 minutes please do not open your eyes just be a witness just observe what is going on doing nothing watch witness experience during the state of dhyana during the state of meditation we will acquire so many spiritual experiences and so much spiritual wisdom spiritual intellect then we will start understand that we are just not only this physical bodies just not only this mind and emotions we will start understand ourselves as consciousness as energy this is called as spiritual wisdom or spiritual intellect when you have spiritual intellect your life ta- your lifestyle your attitude your understanding about life will be completely changed you will understand that you are an eternal consciousness an eternal soul and you will understand all the being kind is energy all the being kind is consciousness and the whole being kind is our cosmic family our universal family mm-hmm. 
spiritual wisdom gives you a vast understanding when you have vast understanding of your life then everything will be changed in your life your health will be all right your wealth will be all right you will be in a state of happiness bliss always and you will become efficient in your day to day activities when you understand that you are an energy being you will become the whole universe you will become one with the whole universe that is the final stage in meditation samadhi last one minute be in the deep state of samadhi do not open your eyes please
last 10 seconds. When you got all the answers, then you can follow all Yama and Niyamas. Then you can follow the universal moralities and self-observances. That is the output of meditation. So, asana, pranayama, pratyahara, dharana, dhyana, samadhi, then yama and niyama. You will become a responsible person in the society. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, J. Yeah. Do not open your eyes, please. Slowly release your hands and place your palms on your eyes for a few seconds. Slowly open your eyes in front of your palms. Look into your palms. Just give a big hand for meditation. More, more, more. More, more. Thank you. When we clap more, again the blood circulation will become normal in the body. So you will get rid of, you will come out of the numbness. The, all the functionings will become normal. So when we are in meditation, we will, we will go beyond the consciousness of body. We will go to, we will enter into spiritual consciousness means we will that means we will forget our physical body it will become less functioning the minimum functioning so whenever we come we come out of meditation we must clap immediately to bring our consciousness back to the physical life and to make all the functionings of our body normal everyone must do, must practice meditation. Nowadays, people are thinking yoga means doing postures. Doing postures is kindergarten in the whole education system. Doing postures is not yoga. Doing postures is the just, the just beginning of yoga. So everyone must practice meditation along with the practice of postures, then the complete, the yoga will be completed. If not, just whole time, just we will be in the kindergarten only. We have to pass from asana, the first, to pranayama and pratyahara, dharana, dhyana and Samadhi. You have to practice all every day. Postures, breathing exercises, and meditation. The remaining things will happen during your practice. If you practice every day yoga and meditation, then slowly you will understand what is what you are and what your life is. 
whenever you understand yourself then you will be able to control your life you will be able to control your mind then you can follow all the universal moralities like emma and all the personal observances means self discipline so self discipline and universal moralities are the output of meditation so if you if you follow these all things in the beginning in fact there's no need of yoga and meditation because your life is not in your hands not in your control so you have to practice yoga you have to practice meditation to get control on your life i am requesting all please practice yoga and meditation every day for meditation no conditions any time any place any moment any situation is okay but during if you practice postures you have to take precautions but to practice meditation no precautions just make the light dim close your eyes observe the breath i hope all will practice meditation and yoga every day to know the meaning of life thank you thank you thank you